wondering if it's all that bad. Like, it's really not that bad. I just uh, was out working and I'm still really productive and happy and healthy, but uh, I'm noticing them just a little bit more. So they might be happening more as I get closer to ovulation, but they've been pretty mild from what I've heard they can be for certain people. Yeah, I would encourage you to try it. Hi there, welcome to the Poyer Pocket. Today I'm talking about how Clomid got us pregnant and what we did and how it worked and just the questions that I had before we started and I would just watch a lot of these videos and they were so helpful to just help me with the hope that we could get pregnant. Wherever you're at, if you're just curious about what I took to help my body get pregnant or if you are considering the option yourself, I hope uh, this is just entertaining and valuable for you wherever you're at. And uh, just to say I'm not a doctor. My doctor totally did everything and I'm just telling you what she told me and the protocol that she gave me so you can kind of compare because it was nice to like go into the office and be prepared of like I know what she's gonna say I've already studied how it works and I just felt like I could understand what the doctor was saying and it wasn't so many doctor words all said at me that is why I am making this video and if you are new here welcome this is the poor pocket channel I do most of the videos, but my husband's always helping with little things here and there. We are on just our first journey of being pregnant. I am 12 weeks pregnant. So we are almost through our first trimester and it's totally flown by and totally been the best and the scariest and it's, it's just, it's awesome. If that is your dream to be a mom, to be a dad, I just think you're gonna love it. So keep praying, keep hoping, it can happen. I thought it couldn't happen and it really seriously can. So, okay, first thing, there are a lot of people that have tried Clomid and it did not work for them. I just got lucky and it did work. It took two rounds for me. And so when I was watching a lot of videos on YouTube, on my first round, I watched people that had success in the first round because I needed hope for that. And then once our first round didn't work, I was watching round two and round three success stories because it just felt like, great, this thing didn't work, it's not gonna work. But when we got to our second round, I think my body adjusted better because with that first round, it was a lot. The symptoms really came on the second half of the cycle after I had taken everything. And I'll tell you kind of how that works for when they tell you to take it, but, um, it was a lot and I think my body needed to do it another round just to like get the hang of it because it was a lot of hormones just figuring out what to do in my body. How does Clomid work and what can you expect at the doctors? What are they going to say? Like what are the symptoms? What results did I have? So you kind of already know the results. So Clomid is clomiphene citrate, something like that. Again, I'm not a doctor. It is a drug that I believe blocks estrogen and that makes your body then extra try to produce stuff. I don't have it like on hand so I just I don't want to get it wrong. Oh I need my there it is. Basically it just really makes sure that you ovulate and it pushes you to ovulate and so a lot of people will have to go through ultrasounds and make sure that their egg is developing properly that there's not too many eggs because you kind of want that one dominant egg to be the biggest one and at the right size. There's all these measurements that matter, but in my case, they didn't have to do ultrasounds at all. Um, and I have PCOS, so polycystic ovarian syndrome. So I know I've got a lot of cysts and they're like the pre-eggs in a way. Maybe I'm completely wrong there, but I felt like my body was trying to ovulate all this time and couldn't push it out at the last minute. I felt like something about my hormones wasn't really spiking and getting it to work. So I would get positive LH surges, but then it just, it seemed like something was off. And I never got that confirmed, except the fact that Clomid worked. It really helped with um, even just different issues that we had and different tests that told us we were gonna have a little bit more trouble. It helped pass that. So there is hope that it can work for you, even if you have more issues on either side, male or female. Before you get to the doctors, you have to have that appointment. And how do you get that appointment? Well, it works that you have to be trying for a year. So when my year was approaching, I knew to start scheduling that appointment because I didn't wanna wait any longer. When you wanna get pregnant, 
you really want to get pregnant. And so I was like, I'm going to be so on top of this and make sure that it happens because another thing is they will have you start something on a certain day of the month. So if your cycle is already past that, you have to start on the next cycle because you have to do it that certain way. So I just wanted to be on it. You know what? We've tried for a year. I want to start it that month right after. So I don't know for sure which month we are on because of um, just when I stopped taking the pill and when we started on trying officially. I just knew I'm going to tell my doctor this date I want to get started. I had to confirm, tell them we've been trying for a while and um, then they were okay to have me come in and say, okay, you're struggling with infertility. We're going to mark that on your chart and here is what we're going to do first. So for me, they said Clomid. The other option is Letrozole, which I've heard is the better option, but my doctor chose Clomid because she said my BMI was less than 30. So I don't know why that matters, but that's what my doctor chose. I've got a list here of just the instructions that they give you. It's just a printout document, what they recommend for everyone. I was already on progesterone, Prometrium. So the first step is to, you take one pill every day at the same time. I believe I took it at night because it would make you tired. Kind of foggy and not able to like think as well and walk around even as well. And I had been taking progesterone for I don't know how long, quite a few months, maybe like five months, maybe longer. Just because my cycles, I already knew something was up when we were trying and I wanted to make sure like something was going to help with ovulating then. So I knew my cycles pretty well, so I was trying to be on it. You take that progesterone every day for 10 days and she told me just start on the 15th of the month. It worked out with my cycle. With that first step, it says expect your period three to seven days from the last pill. So you're going to take it for 10 days and then it's going to start your period. So after your induced period um, with progesterone or birth control, whatever they have you do, the first day of bleeding would be day number one. So now you're like putting numbers to the cycles of your day if you weren't already in some kind of app. So you count until day number five and you start with Clomid one tab by mouth every day for five days. So I would do this from day five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it was five through nine, but that's five total days. Then you're going to count five more days after taking your last pill. And that's when you start doing your LH tests, your ovulation test kits. So these are super cheap. You can get them online. I talk about the ones that I recommend um, from pre-mom, I think. And then I don't even know if I got the pre-mom. I got whatever was the cheapest and in bulk when we were trying. So I had a bunch. I didn't start on the day they said. I would even do it earlier on that first round. I think on the second round I followed this either like the day before or something like that I started checking just because it's fun to see it progress and like clearly I'm ovulating now. You do that every day for eight days. You're gonna watch the, I don't know, there's like test and control line. So I think it's like the test line get darker and darker until it's for sure it's ovulated. And to help with that, I recommend the Premom app will tell you like the percentage and you wanna get it to one um, or 0.9 or 0.8. Like you wanna get it as close to one, over is even okay. That really helps. Or basically what I'm saying is it's going to be 100% the same color, darkness, pregnancy brain right now, I can't think. Um, you want your line to either be darker than the control line or the same, but hopefully darker because that really helps. So they say in general, ovulation occurs day 5 to day 12 after your last dose of Clomid. So if you think about that, you're taking it the last day on day 9. And they expect it to come either 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So either they expect you to ovulate on day 14, which is really common for people, all the way up to, is that seven days after that? Day 21. So that's on the later end. That's usually when I would ovulate. But with Clomid, I was on day, I want to say like day 16, 17, around there. I had to wait a little while. I want to say it was like one week into it, 
which was nice that it didn't take forever. But once you get that positive, your ovulation won't actually occur right then. It's gonna occur within 14 to 26 hours after you get your positive, which is kind of goofy because when you get a positive pregnancy test, you are pregnant. But when you get a positive ovulation test, you are about to ovulate. Doesn't mean you have or that you are, but you're going to, which is a good heads up for when you're trying to conceive. Then, once you get that positive, they say to do every other day for the four days, which are the most fertile. So that's your highest fertility window that you want to be trying. If it's negative, they have other options. I'm not gonna go through those. If you get a positive pregnancy test, oh, it says when to do your pregnancy test. You're gonna wait until 12 to 16 days after you get that positive thing. So that's your two week wait, which, Oh man, that is rough, especially when the chances that you could ovulate are a little bit better this time, or might be a lot better for you. It's a lot, <laughs> especially so the symptoms of Clomid <laughs> are gonna be a lot like you're pregnant. They're gonna be heightened because your hormones are crazy. They are just so much more. So just plan to just be confused and that this is an emotional, emotional time, but you're amazing and you're strong and you're gonna do great. It's a lot of, um, you're gonna have some tenderness in your chest. You're gonna possibly feel a little bit more sick. So you really wanna take care of yourself and get rest and get emotional support and uh, take care of your body physically because it might be in pain. You might feel a lot more bloating in your stomach. That for sure can happen as your ovaries and everything is working over time. Um, basically everything that people say for when they realize they're pregnant is probably what you're gonna feel from all of this because it's very similar to the spike in hormones that you're gonna get when you're pregnant and your body is now taking care of this baby, but you're not gonna have a positive HCG pregnancy test yet. You're gonna probably get in your head I did definitely on that first round. It's a lot to come down off of if it doesn't happen, at least for me. Maybe it won't be for you. Maybe you'll still just be ready for that next time. Like, all right, we get to go again. Um, and not everybody gets to go again. Sometimes um, there are complications and they just say, let's just do the one round. But I got to do two and it worked. So we are so thankful because I could have had to do one more round and then I don't even know what would happen after that because they said only three rounds because of how intense it is for your body. Another thing I wanna mention is that this has been a journey that I've been trying to record. So I'm gonna start a Clomid playlist so you can watch that first appointment, exactly how it felt and went. Um, I've got a vlog for Clomid, just some other things along the way to help you watch it live, what's been going on. So I definitely spoke too soon. I'm having so much fatigue today. I'm like over here, like I lay down my arms. I'm laying like this and suddenly my head is getting so heavy. I feel, I felt a little nauseous today too. Like I would just all of a sudden feel sick and then I'd feel better and I'd be okay. But then I would get that same feeling again. I'm not having any more chest pains. I feel like my lymph nodes are doing fine. I've been resting, taking naps, trying to eat. It was just super weird today, like trying to work and just realizing I was like zoning out and I wasn't able to focus. And actually, um, I was very emotional today. Another thing, I had to wait for my next cycle because it has to be a certain day that you start this or start that. So just expect that. It's another thing that even though you think it's gonna work and get you there quicker, you still are gonna need patience and support. Let me know if you have any other comments in the comment section or any other questions or things that I went over just too quickly, I can do another video. Hopefully this was helpful and gave you a better look of it all, but I'm sure I missed some things. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.